welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about embossing logo in a sheet metal so i have taken the example of charlotte logo and uh, all the dimensions are assumed this is purely for education see this is the logo i am going to create here i am going to use forming tool so i am going to show you how to create this forming tool so let's start now Now I am going to create this forming tool. So new, take a new part file. Select the top plane. See, I have created a sketch. Take a parallelogram. place it like this and one rectangle and give dimensions so these are approximate dimensions so come out of this sketch so don't modify this sketch at all now this is a reference sketch for us now once again select the top plane go to sketch go to convert entities convert all the solid lines now go to power trim So we have to delete this line also. Now go to show hide options, hide all types. So now we can see this outer lines and go to extruded boss. Here the height is around 10 mm. Now what we have to do is we have to provide chamfers. Since the height is 10 mm, provide 5 mm chamfer to all the edges. Say okay. So this logo is created now. We have to eliminate the sharp corners. So we have to apply fillets. So the fillet should be always equivalent to sheet thickness or more than the sheet thickness so at this moment i am giving 2 mm see 
see the thumb rule is the tool direction is the vertical direction so whenever we provide radius to any edges initially we have to provide vertical direction and it should be equivalent to sheet thickness or more than the sheet thickness so this is very much important so after applying uh, these fillets it's easy to maintain tangency so now we can select any edge and it propagates to all the edges so here i am giving 1 mm similarly this edge also because we are giving the equivalent to sheet thickness because this comes under inside radius of the forming portion so the inner radius should be equivalent to sheet thickness now we have to go to forming tool here there are no cutting features so we have to select stopping face and leave the faces to remove so we are not going to remove any material so this tool is ready now we can save this file as it is in the forming folder so this is the shortcut for forming folder so you can write it straight away right click and open this folder now i am closing this file then we have to create a sheet metal base flange so i have taken 250 by 200 and sheet thickness is 1 mm now place this logo on the sheet see we have to see the direction it is forming a inner side so just simply flip the tool see here go to position so this is the embossed feature on the sheet material this is how we create forming tool for embossing logo in a sheet material upcoming video i am going to show you how to create embossing feature for letters or text on the sheet metal thank you very much